Western Mass News is your local election authority. We're just a few hours away now from presidential primary polls closing across the state. We've been hitting the roads all day long to see how in-person voting's been going on this Super Tuesday. Welcome everyone to Western Mass News at 4. I'm Chris Pizzotto. And I'm Abby Carnavalli. And Western Mass News reporter Wesley Days is live in Florence with more for us tonight. And Wesley, you've heard from poll workers that say so far turnout has been pretty low. Yeah, I mean, Chris, it's been eerily quiet most of the day. We've been here and around the western Massachusetts area all day, starting since about 10 o'clock this morning, and I've visited a lot of different polling sites across the area. Now, we still have four hours to go, right, until these polling places close at 8 p.m., and things could change um, in those next four hours. We heard from poll workers in Hadley, in Amherst, in Springfield, now in Florence, about what could happen in these next four hours. They say that things usually get to ramp up around when people get out of work and clock out for the day. Now, we're told by one Springfield couple that we caught up with after they finished voting that no matter what your excuse is, no matter if you're going to come out or not, it's very important to ensure that your voice is heard on this presidential primary day. Oh, it's always important to vote, but this year it seems like more than ever with that so much on the line and we, we wouldn't miss an opportunity to stand up for democracy. Well, Jackie, who you just heard from there in Springfield, is not alone. We also went to Amherst, as I just told you, Abby and Chris, where we saw one man who was standing out in the rain, pushing others in his community to choose no preference voting, a decision and choice that has been in the Commonwealth for decades, but is now generating new buzz as a way to send a sign, a negative sign, to the current administration. Obviously, there's a lot of people uh, very unhappy with the other party. Uh, the Republicans and uh, don't want to see them win. And this is a good chance to register uh, protest to the Biden administration's policies on Gaza without deciding how we're going to vote in November. Now, Tuesday's less than stellar turnout doesn't mean that Bay State voters are not getting their ballots in on time, Abby and Chris. We've heard from election workers throughout the day that nearly half a million people had voted early by mail before this Super Tuesday even came around. 50,000 people or over 50,000 people, I should add, came in person early to get their ballot cast and ensure it went into the right slot. Now, if you're unclear about where to go after work, if you're pulling out of the driveway, picking up your kids from school, and you don't know where to go, you can log on to our website, westernmassnews.com, for more information on where you should go and get that ballot checked in and put into the right slot. Now, coming up tonight at 6, Abby and Chris, we're hearing from more voters like the one you just heard from. Chris and Abby will hear from them in just a little while. Reporting live in Florence, Wesley Days, Western Mass News. All right,